Okay, picking back up right where we left off. Here's the integral we're trying to take. And we got as far as this. We found the antiderivative. According to our definition, to find this, and indeed to determine whether this exists, we might not get an answer from all of this. It might end up diverging. But to determine convergence or divergence, and to figure out what the integral is, if it converges, we should break this up into two improper integrals. If you've already read the notes that accompany this video, you'll see that I'm going off script. In the notes, I use a zero here, but I've claimed it doesn't matter what number we use, so I've selected a different number to illustrate to that. And we now need to take these improper integrals one after another. Let's start with this. Going from here to here is nothing but the definition of an improper integral. And going from here to here is simply the fundamental theorem of calculus using our antiderivative. So we should stick in these limits and subtract them. And this requires some thought. What happens as c goes to negative infinity? Well, e to the c goes to zero. Remember that the exponential function has a horizontal asymptote when we go to negative infinity. So this goes to zero, and this entire thing, therefore, is going to the arc tangent of zero, which equals zero. So we're left with the arc tangent of e to the 17th, whatever that might be. The second improper integral that appears in this sum is found similarly. We rewrite it as a limit because that is how an improper integral is defined. And then we apply the fundamental theorem of calculus. And now we must compute the limit. Now, well, this is a constant. It's not causing any trouble. This is a little trickier. As c goes to infinity, e to the c also goes to infinity. Well, remember that the arc tangent has a horizontal asymptote 
at pi divided by two. So as the argument of the arc tangent goes to infinity, the arc tangent is approaching the horizontal asymptote. It's approaching pi over two, giving us that as the limit. And now we're running out of space, but we have completed this problem, essentially. We said that this equals this. We found that this integral was this arc tangent. And we found that this integral was pi over two minus that arc tangent. When we add these together, of course, this arc tangent and this negative arc tangent cancel. And we get pi over two. So this integral converges and equals pi over two. And if you compare this with my note, where I used zero here. Well, in the notes, we also get pi over two. It genuinely doesn't matter which number you use to break this up.